there, Rascal here, and today I'm going to go through a short uh, introduction to the Beam Web Wallet. Runs similarly to what you might be used to on a Chrome extension, similar to MetaMask or such like. And uh, although still in test net, um, we do anticipate uh, the functions to be quite similar. Uh, as I'm showing you today. So without further ado, let's get straight through this. So first things first, we'll go to the Chrome Web Store and uh, we'll add the Beam Web Wallet to our browser. I'm using Brave here. Uh, so we'll wait until that uh, downloads and once the extension is downloaded, it should install into the browser automatically. So let's wait for that. As you can see on the right hand side at the top, we've got the little beam icon, that's the web wallet. So let's set up the wallet now. It's similar to the desktop graphic user interface wallet where you have to uh, create your uh, new wallet with the seed phrase, verify it um, using the random seed phrase that it gives you. In the next page here, it will ask you to verify half a dozen of those. So I'll key those in now, the first one's there, process 2 would be icon, 11 was fog, this next one here would be bin, and add this in here as purse, and the last random seed phrase it's asking for here is number 12, uh, sponsor. So clicking next, it will ask you then to create your password. So let's do that now, simple password for this one, and add that in, and start using your wallet. So that will create the wallet for you, as you can see. Uh, and once it opens, you can see all your usual functions that you're used to, your send, receive tabs. This shows your uh, blockchain height, so you're connected, obviously, to a random node on this. Um, and what we want to do first is get some coins in here. So to do that, let's get a copy of the address here and copy that and going into the button that says get coins, it takes you directly to the beam faucet. So I'm going to paste my address in there, get some beams and let's wait for them to arrive. There we go. We can see them arriving into the web wallet there. That's your 9.9 .9 testnet beams landing into the web wallet. So we'll give that some time, uh, it should take less than a minute to uh, land and as you can see all the usual functions are fluid as they are um, and on the left hand side there it shows you a little green circle, says you're online on a random node. Uh, all the normal security mode shows you your privacy functions and all the extended settings are still there similarly to your desktop GUI. You can uh, perform a variety of functions with the similar links as you find in your GUI desktop wallets. So other links there that you can use for your beams. There we go. So we'll just wait for that to land. There you go. And the web wallet has received just under 10 beams there from the faucet. Um, there's also the function to use similarly to your MetaMask uh, wallets where you have the little uh, tray at the top here. So if I close that off completely, let's have a look at how this performs if I click on just the little icon. and uh, Not in full screen mode, there we go, you can see I'm logging in there and you're 10 beams are still in that wallet there. So there you have it. Quick and easy uh, run through of the Beam Web Wallet. We hope that um, this will enable third party wallets to integrate Beam more easily um, and uh, allow anybody on the go um, to send, receive Beam and use the, the functions that I've shown you there. So good luck guys. Thanks for tuning in.